Hey folks, so I am uh, making a quick video on how to fix this up. Uh, if you're running into this issue where you've built out your right arm after you've built your left arm and you've paired up, uh, I'm going to hide the grid, you've paired up the uh, all the connections but your FK isn't working even though your I FK IK switch is set to zero and uh, you know switching it to IK with that one mode it is working and we get rotation um, <clears throat> but setting it back to zero the the wrist parent isn't working even though everything else is um, the wrist is not uh, so we need to square that up and uh, the reason being is I think it's just a glitch in my in why that gets disconnected this go around uh, maybe because of the naming conventions with everything behind the scenes but here is how to fix it if you run into this issue we're gonna go to Windows node editor and I'm gonna show you kind of the process of how I found where this issue was at um, and you know this in this field this is a pretty vital Kind of workflow to figure out some stuff um but n this node editor is your friend works very similar to the hyper shade if you've worked in that a good amount uh, but i'm going to select this wrist joint the one that's broken and load it into my node editor and i can do that with this button right here input and output connections uh, so we can see all the connections with what's going into this wrist what's connected up to the elbows the parent constraints all that great stuff um, this is the one that's broken, so there's something in this tangle that isn't working. Let's go over to the right side, and I'm going to load up the right side. But instead of doing it here, because if I did it, if I click this button here, it'll just erase all this. I'm going to open a new tab and load it over here. That way I can go back and forth between these two tabs to compare them. Now, Maya will randomly like lay this stuff out. So if I go back over here to the other wrist and say, uh, load those back in, if I just keep clicking that, sometimes it just loads it differently. Uh, so don't worry about the organization of this. Um, I, and you can move these around, these boxes, like, you know, which is actually that left elbow joint. It is connected to stuff. Uh, but don't worry about, um, uh, again, don't worry about the positioning of all this stuff. Just don't disconnect these lines because Maya needs that. That's how it associates all of these connections behind the scenes. Uh, so this is, what I have here is the left arm, which is working properly. And the three kind of things that are disconnected here, uh, I'm going to pull up. It's going to be this wrist. It's going to be this blend parent. And then finally, it's going to be this pair blend. So that's the ones you're looking for. And again, we can pull them out of order. That's fine because we can always just reload them. It'll put it, Maya will randomly put them in like a quote unquote uniform order. But um, I'm going to pull these out. Again, these are the wrist blend parent one. I'm going to find that. The left wrist and the pair blend. This isn't how to fix it. This is just showing you how it's properly connected. Um, we can hit three on our keyboard to open these menus up to really see what's connected in here. It's like opening the hood of a car. Uh, and I want to pay attention to how these three are connected. So this blend parent, this line is leading down here to that blend parent one. And that's the input on the left side of this columns is the input. So the output of this blend parent one is leading down to this blend parent uh, uh, one here on the wrist. And this, the output of this, is leading up to the weight input of the pair blend. So this side works. Now if I go back over to my um, uh, this character's right arm, which is the one that's not working, and we do those same things where we pull up the wrist, we pull up that blend parent, and then we pull up the pair blend, and then open them all up. So I'm going to select all three, and then hit three on the keyboard and just kind of position them up here. We can see this blend parent output is heading all the way down to blend parent one, but you can see it's not connected. Like this output, there's nothing here. If I click and drag from that, I can make a connection. That's what we need to do is for this pair blend, there's nothing connected on the inside of this weight. So this weight isn't actually connected to anything. So pair blend one, parent, click and drag, go up to weight, select that now we have a connection here and if i go back to my character and start to rotate that wrist works let's minimize the node editor 
So when FK IK switch is set to zero, this wrist will work. When it's set to one, the FK IK will no longer, or the FK will no longer work rather, but the IK will. So it's really as simple, quote unquote simple, right? Uh, where did the node editor window go? Windows node editor, there it is. So it's, it's as simple as just going in here and connecting those up. And again, um, the order of operations here is load this right wrist in, find your wrist, find your uh, blend parent node, and then find that pair blend node. Um, and make sure that they're connected. The output from the wrist blend parent one is going down to the blend parent one on the wrist. And then that blend parent one is going to the weight of this pair blend two node. Um, and then everything will be connected and working properly. You can see this is already kind of like talking back to the wrist, uh, all that great stuff. So again, a little advanced kind of a, of a fix there, but that's how to fix up this issue. Um, set that back to zero and that'll be working. Hope that helps. Uh, and feel free to email Autodesk and curse kind words. Don't curse at them. That's bad advice. I'm an instructor. Don't do that. All right. See you all in class.